technology front um and um and also as part, kind of alongside that we became co-investors um separately but jointly in the manga project so um that's a relationship that's alive and well um i don't know i don't know if that's been announced yet so maybe that's something that's um i shouldn't have said but but yes i think there's a there's a there's a um great opportunity to work alongside them to get um this ip out and that's an audience that i think could be you know i think a really valuable one for the growth um and again coming back to doing things that are like art centric as opposed to trying to um manufacture some gimmick that doesn't you know that that is kind of artificial um and not rooted in what the what the essence of this collection is Hmm. Okay, thanks. Uh, that the answer to my question. So I guess uh, I'll I'll still be on the lookout for the manga for the development of. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. I, I I'm not trying to like MC or co-host or a, a stage. <laughs> if anyone wants to like talk, you know, feel free to. Oh yeah, in, but... I have a question. Um, what is the? I mean, you said you guys will not abandon Web three, right? So, but what is the plan? For NFTs and stuff, beside being a collectible, like we had a yeah. Sapphire Town, and this is not happening. So I think what are we doing now? I think there's a a very big overestimation in terms of a what Sapphire Town was going to be, and b the impact it would have. I think that people um have misunderstood how difficult it is for some to make something like that work and um and also to do that in the context of you know what's really gonna it's, you're gonna make some trade-offs on things that are really going to grow this community if you put your effort and time into that you know you're, you're imagining it to be something much more than it was so that's probably the first thing um I think that there are, there are huge opportunities for us to take Cool Cats into experiences where there are huge audiences already um, and where you don't have to build up, um, you know, all of the stuff that goes along with operating something like Saf Sapphire Town. Um, and we can take advantage of the work that's being done, you know, a lot of that kind of platform technology work that's been done on the Futureverse side and alongside some of the big distribution opportunities we have um, with these kind of more well-known platforms and, um, and, and IP that is already kind of well-known by, by people around the world and put, put Cool Cats adjacent to those things and get way better outcomes um, than what we could have out of going, going to market with something like Sapphire Town. So the question about like abandoning Web three or not, I think I I tried to answer it in in the in the text chat, but like that boundary is kind of an artificial thing um, in my mind. Like people focus on that that word too much without thinking about how um, you know how to reach new audiences. Um. So the yeah. Um, that's not cool. Um, uh, I think we have to shut mute up. some people. James, shut up. So that so so then we can see that like Web three is an extremely important part of like all the stuff that we're building. But what we're trying to do is take like the user journey to a place where people can come and experience this thing without having to be a technology expert. Um, so mm. there's no intention to abandon the web3 elements of this it's just to make it easier for people to to access and to um and to use hi uh aaron are, are you able to hear me yeah oh um cool well a um thanks for coming in i'm excited about um uh, i've been excited about the futureverse stuff since you guys first came on and i've um participated in a lot of the stuff you've got going on with Futureverse. I've got my root staked and um, I've got 12 prisms for a third kingdom and I'm looking forward to Readyverse. My question is, I have 11 cats I'm still holding since Mint and <clears throat> um, I'm excited about the future that you guys have. I just am kind of wondering where cool cats fit into 
the mix compared to the rest of the you know fluff world and future verse stuff that you guys have in that are they as core of a part of it as uh everything else that you have um will i benefit by holding my cats and being in that system or am i going to be better off having future verse native nfts i mean i i i think you know, I'm not going to give financial advice on the chat here, but um, I think that the the most important thing is that um, we want to make the IP successful, and we're putting you know a lot of effort behind that, um, a lot of our own personal time and in energy, particularly Shara has gone behind behind making that a success, and we wouldn't be doing that if we didn't think it was important to the overall ecosystem. Um, you know the there's a lot, you know, there's a lot going on in, in our um, space and even more now that other people are starting to, to build with us. Um, so, um, so I think the key thing is that our, our, there is a lot of focus on making this success. That's the first thing. Um, two, there's already opportunity there for people to take advantage of, of, you know, being cool cats, being part of the community if they want to play those games. And three, we really want to bring the focus back to making the IP special and loved and fun again. Um, and so that's that's probably the best way to take take away from that. Yes, it is important. Um, if you want to play those games, there'll be plenty of opportunity to play them, but but really the focus and the effort and the work is going into making making Cool Cats fun and loved again. I had a short question about um, like the sidekicks. <laughs> and I know that they're like kind of far off and like, mm-hmm. the third one and there's just some there was just a lot of good art that's still kind yeah. of hidden behind and it's kind of locked in there with the materials being really hard to obtain because you know people have just forgotten about it or whatever mm-hmm. is there any way we can get like release of that art or like is that going to be something mm-hmm. later on because i'm ass- I'm assuming that was part of sapphire town um in some way shape or form but is are we going to see more of that like i know it says like first edition is there a second edition coming or or is that just kind of just on hold for now? Um, I would I wouldn't say it's on hold per se. It's more like let's kind of get the engine running again and like tur- turning over kind of the the um, the core of it, and then we can start to look to expand from there. Um, and the yeah. um, the animation is kind of you know central part of that and it gives us the opportunity the platform to start to introduce other ip around blue cat um and i think you'll start to see that stuff come out in in the the way that the shows and this and the episodes roll out that now we have a platform that we can start to tell these other stories through um and lead with that storytelling and then see where that takes us okay thanks yep aaron i have a question now Yep. So I don't I don't know if it was addressed already and I wasn't in here, but I feel like the big elephant in the room is is Jarvis. It wasn't mentioned one time. So you probably won't go into details there, but I feel like he was pretty crucial in some of the big things that had happened. Some other team members, I guess moderators in a Discord, yeah, I could see, you know, moving web two or whatever the thing may be, getting rid of them. But what What's up with Jarvis? Where? Yeah, where I, I can't in actually get or... into into details on that, unfortunately. Um, just not appropriate to do that. Yeah, on this forum. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, your mic. <laughs> yeah, there's about 10 people with open mics, guys. Just pay attention and check. Make sure your mic is muted. Just respect the room, guys. That's nice that Aaron. Thank you for giving us your time, Aaron. Appreciate you. No, that's, that's okay. More than help you to. Yeah. I mean, I know these things are tough and change is, change is always tough. Um, and there's a lot of like uncertainty that comes with change. Um, so people, you know, are going to react in different ways to that. Um, and... We like Con said, we got thick enough skin to to work through it. Um, and you know, we know that the end of this road is that there's going to be fun and joy. Um, 
and creativity be brought back into this and maybe just get away from some of the the toxicity that's kind of prevailed and, and that might be a painful process, but in the end, it's going to be the best thing for the community and for, for cool cats. I think no, the main sense. thing because of that is um, because of the non-communication all the time. Yeah, and that's, I don't that's think right. this would uh, that, happen if, if people would actually yeah. talk more to the community. I think that's fair. And, um, and I, and I, I know that um, this process hasn't been easy on everyone involved and, I think also part of that has, and Klon kind of said that t today, um, he can probably speak for himself, he's here listening, but, um, you know, part of going through this process and um, making those hard decisions, you know, has emotional impact on people that are, that are in this process and that may have had an effect on, you know, Klon wanting to be part of this environment and now he knows that he has you know, this thing by the balls again and is taking it in the dis direction that he wants it to go. I think you'll start to see him being a lot more active and involved in the community, but will be much more, you know, focused on weeding out the toxicity as part of that. And, you know, it's a, it's a give and take um, type situation where um, we want to cultivate um, that community culture again and have Klon be a big part of that but at the same time people don't want to turn up and get abused every day because the floor plate price isn't where they want it to be um and so so you're you're right um in in the fact that there has been a lack of communications um and there are there are some good reasons for that and some not so good reasons for it but there's a stake in the ground now to move forward with a different mode of operation Aaron, I got one Oh, okay. I got go one ahead. last one. I'm out of here. Um, Aaron, I do just want to ask you real quick, brother, um, because I didn't even hear it in the thing earlier. You might have said it and it might even be out there. What is your role here? And if you can, I mean, I don't even know if you could say that. I don't know what the NDAs are hitting mm -hmm. like, but what is, what is your role here? Because I know you have like 16 messages in the server and they just started. I think you last time you wrote was like April of 2023. And then yeah, I, you just I'm, now came active today. Yeah, I'm I'm a board member on Cool Cats, and I run um, Futureverse, which is a shareholder in Cool Cats. Um, so yeah. I've been, I've been Go kind ahead, of right. support, my, and I think to answer your question, my, what my, my my role is, my role is to support Klon. That's it. Full stop. Got you, man. Well, Klon has been a big 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 instrumental part of, of things that i've done so of course i have nothing but love for Klon. and i mean likewise with you i have no uh hate in my heart for anything i am <laughs> i guess like a like a father would say i am disappointed in a lot of things that have happened but i feel like as someone who's been a long time member i should be able to voice that opinion i know that's i mean that in no disrespect but i was just curious and that was a genuine question again i was not here to attack no, no, you or anyone no. on the team so i don't want you and, to and it's and, and disappointment's okay and i think that everyone i think we should be free as a community to share our thoughts and um to um dissent and to have um you know strong opinions about things positively or negatively um but you know falling from that into abuse and toxicity can't be tolerated and i think that's something that needs to be clear we're very open to criticism, um, but criticism criticism can't be abuse. Um, no, and so, and so, you know, we want to make sure that that environment is there. And because, you know, as people have said, the the community is the thing, um, and that's that's an important part of how you build this stuff out. And um, and they have probably great ideas about how to get things back on track too and we want to be able to listen but let's just do it in a respectful way and you know the ingoing assumption to though to any of those comments that i have as someone who's on the on the other end of abuse often um which is part of being at this you know being in this kind of role um is that those people care about it and they're passionate about it and so that's the place they're coming from often um and so i choose to take that um, view into those conversations even if they are a bit toxic um, and I'd like to think that we get the same respect back that the things that we are doing to support Klon are because we care um, because we want it to be successful because we want the community to be successful 
um, that may not agree. The way that we do that may not be how everyone thinks that we should, um, and that's fair. Uh, and we'll oh, take, so we'll take that one. feedback on. Um, and and otherwise, you know, um, we're there to to help this thing grow and get behind Clon to make that, you know, to turn it around and make it a success. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I, I don't want to hog up the stage. Anyone else is more than welcome to talk. I appreciate <clears> you coming on here, Aaron. And um, yeah, man, I've I, got I, I I've got a few more minutes, so I'm happy to take some more questions. And and if ready, it's going to be the right. There's app, if there's appetite oh. for um for us to come in um and have these conversations ready? you know in the future then happy happy to do that again yeah i would love to i would love to hop in and ask a question quick question aaron yep um so first of all i just want to say uh thank you so much for your time i appreciate you um i originally came from the future verse and uh i got i was really excited with the partnership okay ready and I, then i'll make another road oh it's crazy bro your mic um <laughs> If you can hear me, it's crazy, bro. Your mic's open. Um, so yeah, I came from the future first, and honestly, it was really rough coming into Cool Cats Discord. Like I came in with nothing mm. but love. I bought a cat, mm. um, and it was hard. Like the community was really abusing me and anybody else that came in, and it, it made me sad. But I understand that they were they were emotional and they were upset about some of the pivots and the changes. And I get that. I, I've dealt with that with Future Verse, and uh, I just yeah. wish the community realized what what a benefit it is, and like what you guys are really trying to build for the cool cats. Um, I just wanted to say that off the bat that you guys are literally trying to change the world with it, with, with this IP and with future version mm -hmm. web three. But uh, yeah, with that being said, I just wanted to give my little spiel on that. I appreciate you. I appreciate Klon and his vision. Um, are you able to comment at all on how long these episodes will be? Uh, how, what kind of streaming will be? I, I know you probably can't answer some of this stuff, but <laughs> where, where, where they might be streamed or if you can't answer that, like what, what are we looking at at total of episodes or length of episodes or anything you could talk about to the animation? Cause it's very exciting. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think the best thing to say is that it's, it's extremely well done um, by one of the top teams in the world. It's got top talent behind it and we've got, you know, big plans for where to take it. And as you're developing IP and, and taking it through this process, there are different um, phases in its life cycle as you kind of grow the audience from it. And so, there's a good plan, you know, Shara's been producing TV and movies since she was in her early 20s um, with some of the best in the world and, um, you know, she, kn she knows what she's doing in this space. So let's, let's see how it rolls out. Okay, I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. I've got to jump, unfortunately, um, for another meeting, but um, really appreciate the time um, people gave today and, you know, happy, happy to have any feedback or... Um, or questions come through um just know that we're here to to make this thing work and that's the only thing we care about <laughs>